god! Oh my god! I just got let off the f***ing hook, chat. Yo, how is it going, boys and girls? We are playing as many as a thousand. <laughs> Big boy stakes. The thousand and L tables were running on ACR, so I thought I'd flick in. So, hopefully... Oh, yeah, look at this for a turn. Right, let me see if I can get... So, how are we going to do this? F6 and F7? Okay, I have a very big draw here. Um, let's see if we can get this one on. This is long point. Um, I think shoving could be a thing here. Um, I actually don't know. I'm going to take a photo of the spot and run it in a bit. I've just started, man. I didn't want this shit. Um, I think just calling and seeing a river. We might have to bluff some rivers, though. Well, 6, 7, 9, 10, Jack is not a straight. We don't want a 10 to bluff. Blocking like King 10, 10, 9. I think I think we just have to bluff this hand though. Yeah. Maybe shove in turn. I think this is good. I think bluffing spades works better than bluffing heart. I did not want to be a thousand dollars down two minutes into the stream. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I did not want to do that, man. I didn't want to do it. Fucking hell, I'm so glad he folded that Ravina. That would have been the worst start to a stream ever. Like, oh, hey, guys. Nice to see you. All right, I'm down a thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> would have uh, changed my mood. Yeah! Stokes with as many as 24. Stokes, about time, buddy. Congratulations on the red spade, my dude. That is crazy indeed, my man. Thank you, Stokes. Welcome back for two whole years, as many as two. I appreciate you, buddy. Um, okay. So, we're against this guy again. And I don't know if I want to fold my top pairs here on this board. Even versus that size, does he have a bet worse for value? I, I think just calling and losing here most of the time, but I don't think we can do much. Oh my god. Nice, Queen Jack. Big fish, no shrimp with a raid of, of, of what, sorry? Of how many? As, as many as 247. Just stand with the 26 months. Boys, it's all fucking happening this morning. <laughs> Holy shit, picking up the aces again. A uh, bit deeper, we could go bigger here. But versus min raise, I think this is fine. Um, He's got some 6x, but I actually... I wonder if we check... I'm on a 2, so I'm going to check. I wonder if we check any hands on this board or if we're just going to range back. Um, I think checking a hand like this and taking a passive line a little bit deeper, I think, makes some sense. I mean, we'll probably end up shoving rivers anyway, depending on run out. I'm going to go as chat chat. Uh, so I'm going to bet small here. I think that betting like ace king here makes sense as well. <laughs> if he's got quads, good luck to him. I guess betting here, what do I want to like... What am I going to bluff here? Am I going to bluff ace king? Should I go small? Let's try half, but I really don't know what kind of size to go for here. Uh, Queens, I guess, is possible here as well. Get the call. Uh, from Ace King. Um, it's a weird one, because, like, I'd have to have some, like, Ace King. Um, to be fair, if I'm going to bluff, I'm going to bluff Ace King, and I'm going to bluff bigger. 
I don't know. I really don't know about that one. I was in for I was in for many. Speaking of many, we've got the pocket kings, so we're gonna get in many big blinds. Uh, pretty good looking flop. I think half part on this kind of texture seems pretty good. Potentially overbetting some turns. Do we want to overbet the three? Does he have um, three X? So I think maybe multiple sizes here. I'm going to go three quarters, but I'm unsure about this because I think we want to like, I guess we probably want to overbat, big bat and check, right? Uh, I don't think he should have many 4x hands here. Um, I think they should be folding turn versus... I mean, I didn't overbet, but... I'm going to go pot on the river. I don't have too much that I want to bet for value here, but I don't have too much for bluffs either, so I can just bluff my 5-6 suited here. And set seven six suit it's pure because then there's eight combo, and then there's like more of value. So I think I like that. Nice, we get the call. So we have to be good. King queen, that is very nice. Maybe I could have got more with overbat and potentially even shoving rivers, but we will take it. Nice, Jack. Shut up, mate. I'll time you out, buddy. Uh, somewhat of a cooler up here. Ah, uh, no. Oh no, no, no. It's bad. <laughs> I was gonna say I would have won. Green Jack suited, easy defense with three bets. Budden versus small blinds. Hmm. Versus quarter part, definitely continuing. Ah, shit. Am I all in? I, I, do I need to block ASAP? I mean, I do. I don't block the suited ones, but. I guess bet turn, shove river with this hand, with no clubs. Do, it, do, I, do I double float? Do I call, call, and then shove rivers? Yeah, I think I'll have to... Ugh. Yeah, I don't, I don't think... It's not a particularly good hand in terms of... I mean, what else can I really bluff here? Do I want to shove, though? I guess we'd just part, we just shove. Uh, this sucks, but I don't think we can do much about that. Oh my god. Alright, guy that's just calling me a nit, shut the fuck up. I don't really want to play three handed. Maybe I'll just. Even so. Guess I'll go 12 again, seeing as we've been going 12. Thank you, Deck Flow. It's not me that's edited the videos. I've just kind of like done the audio and put them together. But Dan, um, the video editor, he does ease these videos as, again, uh, as well. Sorry. I think I've got to give a shout out to him. So interesting whether I want to barrel on this board or not. I think he connects with this a lot. So we're definitely not going to be betting range. This is a really awkward one. I feel as though Hearts is going to bat here. And we're probably always just check folding... Like ace three of clubs and stuff like that. I have multiple spots here. Shit. I think I just have to like back get this in. Uh, I think even like betting massive and just skewering the SPR is fine. Yeah, I think this and then call off. Check call seems to be the only play available, I think, now, where we have to, I think, check call against um, a potential, like, Queen Jack um, and stuff like that of hearts. I think shoving is a little bit thin. Um, and I think if he does shove, we're going to, like, lose most of the time. I guess he can have ace of diamonds as well, but there's no way I can fold this on. I think, like, some sets are just going to shove turn. Maybe like seven, six of hearts and diamonds. 
Yeah, we're just going to check call and lose most of the time. But just have like Queen Jack of Hearts one time. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I've come a long way though. There, there was something on um, nine years ago on Facebook. It was said something like there was a, a post of mine. It came up on memories and I was asking what time the late reg is open for the free rolls on PKR. And I just thought, fucking hell, I've come a long way in a decade, man. So I really like betting big with this type of hand. Do I want to just check this turn? Or do I want to just press equity? I think we get some 7x to fold here as well. So I think that um, just barreling this on turn seems okay. Sucks if we get raised, but ace-jack should raise flop a lot. A7 might not want to raise this turn too often. We block deuces in case he was trapping flop. And backed all the nuts, which is nice. Okay, back door into the nuts. Running fucking good today, boys. Um, I don't know what size to go for. I guess something like this, where I'm not just betting flushes. Um, or I could just go absolutely batshit and then just bluff my queen 10, king queen with a diamond. But I also think this is good because I think his... Not having the queen is good because you can have like queen 7 of diamonds as well, which has to check shove and like 7... Uh, like Jack seven, uh, uh, ten seven of diamonds, which probably check shoves. So nice. Maybe I can overbat um, and then just overbat my king queen with a diamond. Um, okay. Do I want to shove here? I want to set. Do I have a flat here? I don't think I have a call. I think I always um, fall back. So he's going to go with a 4-bet and a lower roll. A mix between 4-bet and 4-bet shove, I think. I'll double check this as well. Villain calls. Uh, probably quarter pattern with range. Lock in some ace-queen is nice. And king-queen suited. Do I want to just blast this off, though, is the question. Or do we just have showdown with this hand? Do we not just <clears throat> want to barrel off like ace jack suited, ace 10 suited always? Because then, like, if we have ace 10 of diamonds, we block, or ace jack of diamonds is better, where well, we block queen x, but we also have fold equity against ace king. <laughs> Soap is dope. I'm so sorry, buddy. Yeah, I expect to see this a lot with like tens and shit. I mean, he's going to have some bluffs like ace jack of hearts, ace jack of spades specifically. Maybe this combo is good to call. I don't know. I should have just fucking ripped it in pre, man. I'm, I'm really pissed off with, with this hand. I don't really know what I'm fucking doing. So again, so I might actually just flat here. This guy doesn't like to fold to three bats by the looks, uh, four bats by the looks of things. I guess it's different in position. But I think calling as well, when we do keep in, obviously it's bad on this flop, but when we keep in the king queens, the ace jacks, the ace tens, the ace queens, I think that's uh, that's really good. And also, when if we do like if we drill a ten on the turn one time, then we're going to be super disguised as well. And it's a run out where he should be bluffing a lot of a lot of spots. Oh my god! Ding ding! Fucking ding! Oh my god! I'm very aroused. Clean river, please, dealer. Um, I'm just going to do that. I, I don't really know what to do here. I guess smaller bats when we do bat. I, I could even check back, but... I uh, got a couple of spots as well. So we check call jack nine up here. Here we three back kings. We're very deep. I think checking back on this flop is pretty good. Jack's not unreasonable. And here we'll just shove. Fuck knows what bluffs are going to be here. Like 10-9? King 10? I think Tanner make a good a good bluff, I think. Got the nuts though, which is always nice. Snap by Jack 10. You love to fucking see it, chat. You love to fucking see it. Oh my days. Let's go. Um, up here we're gonna call turn. And that's a, a very nice river. I wonder if he ever has queens here. So his four bet is two percent. So it wouldn't surprise me if he doesn't four bet queens here. Um, I think we just go pot. 
with this hand. Yeah, um, yeah, I think that's pretty reasonable. Nice, I think 10 jack is actually, I mean, I don't know, like, I'm never shoving worse for value there. And I think that, like, I don't think you want to have a 10. I think King 10 is the best bluff I can have there. I think King 10 would make a really, really good bluff. If I, if I ever bet the term of it. I, th I think betting and then shoving King 10 makes sense. As I said, no, me open blind and blind, check call flop. Um, just have to be folding turn, I think. Nice, another fucking 2k pot our way, boys. As many as 2,000. Big boy pot. Big boy stakes. Big boy Mondays. See, uh, what, uh, like, because of game flow, I would normally 4-bet this quite often. But because of, like, game flow, like, I feel as though, especially this guy. Okay, I'm more likely to 4-bet this guy. So, uh, yeah, I am going to 4-bet here. Pretty sure this 4-bets. Throw my phone all over the keyboard. And um, we get called. And, okay. So, we don't really block anything useful here. Maybe King 10 suited. Uh, definitely going to range bet here and just probably have to rifle it on hearts. Nice. Nice. How come I see the old ACR software? So, if you change the table um, to the thingy. So, if you change it, like, that's the new software, if you like. And then if you change the table, it reverts to the old table. It's not It's not the software. It's just the, it's just the table there. Ace H suited, pretty reasonable plot. Imagine not being ACR pro. Just cooking it when you need him. Uh, check call and flop. I don't think it's too much merit to raise. Um, very sad turn. Very sad turn. Um, yeah, and then just check him, I guess. Check check. And we beat the ace green, which is nice. So we will defend here. I'm not normally defending this hand, I don't think, versus hijack versus MP. But this guy seems, I don't know. I really shouldn't talk too much about players as well because at this stake, people are gonna be watching me a lot more. So I really shouldn't divulge what I think about those. Hello, that's a fun turn. Um, okay, so versus huge bets, I think just call here. I'm on a one, so I'm just going to call. I do want to raise because I'm deeper, but we can never get this in anyway. That's such a sad river. I think I'm going to go for the lead. I really don't know if this is going to be a thing, but it's one of those where I think his ASEX is going to check back, and I, I really don't think this guy is going to have too many obvious bluffs on the turn, uh, with the exception of, like, diamonds and 7-8. Yeah, nice. So, really sad river, but at least he didn't, like, drill a queen. But at least we still got value on it on the river as well, dude, and small. We have a king six suited here. I think on this board, I'm just going to range, but he shouldn't have um, ace queen, and he shouldn't have any sets. So, we shouldn't get check raised too often on this board. But I think betting this type of hand is fine. Uh, going to check back turn. And have some decisions on river. So it's actually a really bad run out because he has like 10 9, jack 9, stuff like that. Um, he'll have some like queen 10, jack, ten, um, queen jack. I think those hands are, are likely to check. So versus bat here, it's kind of, it's going to be difficult to like see obvious bluffs. So yeah. Uh, we flat jacks here, big blind versus under the gun and flop a set. And he's going to time out. Great news. Uh, check, check. We're going to bet the turn. I think his ace-kings are still going to continue. That's so bad. He j I think he just has ace-king a lot here. It's so hard to have obvious bluffs as well. I'm probably going to check fold. Would he have tens and bat tens on the river? Size dependent. Okay, check, check. God! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! I just got let off the fucking hook, chat. I should have just been stacked. How's he checked back the flop? How's he checked the river? 
Uh, in a flop with our friend, he bets big on the flop, but we can't fold with the back door not flush door, I don't think. What's he betting if he's checking back the nuts, though? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that hand. I, I could have literally got stuck. I could have literally got stuck. What is happening? What is happening? What the fuck is happening? Don't sit out. Come back, buddy. So, guys, if you haven't already checked out GTO Wizards, exclamation point GTO mods if you would. It is an amazing tool. Not cheap for what it is for the pro version, but you can uh, you get some free hands per day and stuff. And honestly, it's really, 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 really good. So, lots and lots of spots I wanted to look at today. So, small blind opens, we defend 10-9 suited, which, okay, it basically PR3 bets, which is pretty interesting. So, we just call because we're, uh, we're a little puss. <clears throat> so, outcome is going to be skewed here. Um, he does have some big bets. He actually has over bet here. But he checks a lot. I think he bet half part, right? And 10-9 suited, his spades is basically always raising here. Uh, turn comes Queen of Spades and Villain Overbats, which is definitely going to be a thing here. Okay, he mainly goes 75%, so... I could put this in with whatever. Versus that, I, I wonder if we shove. Yeah, we have some raises. It's basically a min raise. So I was wondering if we should shove here. As played, I call, and then the river comes the six... This was the first hand I fucking played. River comes in offsuit six, Villain checks, and I shove for about 150% pot. Look at that. So we don't really have spades here, but we're always betting with... So the SPR was a little lower here because he overbet bigger. But we are just bluffing this hand always, so... Or bluffing 10-9. The EV of checking is obviously not... I can't believe that the EV... I'm, I mean, in clubs, makes sense. But even the EV of, like, betting 10-9 of spades or 10-9 of hearts is double or triple than checking. Which, a lot of the time when you bluff rivers... The EV is not going to be that high, but it's going to be higher than checking when you have no showdown. But that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, this one, the Kings, was quite interesting. I don't think Villain should have any Forex, but I think I should probably overbet the turn. I think I was indifferent of if we have overbet or check or if we have multiple sizes. We open cut off, big blind defense. Flop comes queen, 3-4 rainbow. I think I just went for the range bet here. Oh, no, I went half pot. Yeah, we'll have some checks, and half pot, I think, is a reasonable size. Yeah, mixing some sizes. Um, villain calls, which I would imagine their hand, which was king-queen. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised it doesn't raise, raise a lot. Turn comes three of hearts, and we will probably have some overbats here. But I mainly wanted to see if we have overbats and a big size in and have different parts of our range. Yeah, a little bit. So we kind of have 75% and overbats. This is just going to overbat. No, it's got some 75% in there based on combo. Kind of um, kind of mixing. I go for the big bet anyway and villain calls. And then the river comes the four of hearts. And I wanted to see. So villain is actually has some forex here. Mainly the ones that block the top pairs. So like jack four, king four, ace four. So, they have leads, not really with that many 4x, to be honest. With the 3x that they just flattered with. So, we check, and yeah, we're always going for value. I bet pot, this is going 86%, very, very similar. I do want to see the difference, though, if we overbet the turn. Which, let's say we go 175% pot and villain calls. They still have some 4x, though, which is really interesting. So, can we even shove on river with kings? Indifferent. It's, uh, the EV is basically the same. You're getting, like, one big blind of EV by shoving here. So, I like... I don't like overbetting the turn too often because I think people respond differently to it. So, when somebody responds in the way that they overfold their queen axe and four axe and they only have, like, three axe, then it ends up being a punt. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. So, uh, I guess the combo is dependent because, um, of blocking king three suit. So, there's higher EV in certain combos, which makes sense. Which makes sense. Right, so this one, which was a fucking sick bluff. But was it a punt? We open the bottom of Queen Jack suited, the small blind three bats. Just, just, I know, like, wow. What do you mean, four bet shove all in, you dickhead? Okay, well, I'm not doing that, am I? You dickhead. 
Okay, so we get the Ace of Spades, the Ace of Clubs, and the Eight of Clubs. So the flop is just going to have to be a continue. There is no way about, no two ways about it. Um, raising less than I thought on this board. We can't. So in comes a nine of diamonds. And he's pro he might not have a half pot sizing. No, he's got 20% pot sizing. Let's say he goes a third. Okay, we pure continue versus a third. If he did go half, this is going to skewer things a bit because... He doesn't really have half pot size and we're indifferent and we fold the other but the, i don't have the other two combos because i never i never call flop with those combos so i only have spades here so let's say he goes a third we call our queen jack suited and then the river comes the four of clubs the only difference is here the spr was just over one at this point he's checking back sometimes what do you mean seven big blinds worth of ev you're telling me villain gets here with his fucking queen nines, his jack nine suiteds, and then just gives them up? Grow up. There's no EV in checking. Shut up. If, uh, let's see if I can do it versus half part and then call. I think I might have fucked that up. Why does he keep taking me to thingy? Button, all in. Boom. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So we're just pure bluffing this on the river. Look at it. Look how good I am at this game. Look how good I am at this game. So even on the turn versus half pot, which to be fair, it's not really using half pot too much. So it kind of skews the ranges. But even versus a half pot size in Queen Jack of Spades is basically always calling here. Versus a third, it's always calling. And then we're bluffing River a lot of the time. But yeah, I basically played it like a fucking absolute wizard. I'm actually so good at this game. It's like a gift chat. So interesting one here. We open the button with King Do Suited. Um, big blind defends. We see Jack, seven, deuce, rainbow. Could probably range about this, to be fair. I went for a bigger bat with bottom pairs, which I tend to do quite often. Uh, King, deuce, indifferent between, yeah, kind of doesn't really matter what we want to do here. I went for the big bat and villain calls. The turn comes the ace of diamonds, and let's see what the strategy is here. So some over bats, some 75% bats. Yeah, I, I like to see this. So, King Deuce is now turning itself into a bluff because it has um, fold equity against better hands and still equity. King Deuce of Diamonds is more inclined to check, but again, similar EV. The EV is actually higher to overbet this hand and to bet 75% of this hand than it is to check, but frequency wise, it's doing it about 50, about 50 50. So, yeah, either is fine. Um, let's say we go 75% villain calls. Villain's probably going to have some leads on this river. No. I wanted to see the strategy here. Yeah, this doesn't surprise me. So we're shoving with some flushes and stuff. And then we're going to be shoving, I guess, with like King Queen, Queen 10 with the diamonds, stuff like that. It's mainly 150%. Just as long as we're betting big here. Our range is like really slim with how we've played this anyway, overall. This 10 Jack one. No, this Ace King one, sorry, was very, very interesting. So we open the cut off. Do we always fall bet this? Small blind three bet. And we peel ace king off too. Okay. Uh, villain is range betting here, which they did. So let's say they go one third. We continue our ace king. A little bit of race. We have aces at a frequency, which is interesting. Ding, ding, fucking ding. Um, they check. I want to see. Basically, we're going to have Ace King and our bluff. Our bluff's going to be King Ten. It's just got to be King Ten suited. But um, I go some weird size. I think. Oh, to be fair, I went half pot because I wanted to be able to shove River. Villain pure calls is Ten Jack. The River comes a six of hearts. Villain checks. We go all in with Ace King. Ooh. So we're shoving Queen Jack suited for value, and then we're shoving sets and eight nine suited. What are our bluffs then? Okay, ace high float. King Jack wants the bluff. But King 10 doesn't. Even though... <laughs> how weird is this? This is such a weird spot. So we can win by checking back with King Jack. We can't win by checking back King 10. But we don't always shove King 10 and sometimes we shove King Jack. Uh, and, we, and we always shove King Jack, sorry. Um, anyway, yeah. So we shove... And villain pure calls 10 jack for the lowest amount of EV. And honestly, in game, I think you should just fold that. But in saying that as well, I guess it doesn't really matter because if, if we're supposed to shove king jack. Interesting to note that king jack calls sometimes. Are there any better hands that fold now, queen jack? Queen 10. 
That's just based on range, really. 